welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about perimeter, circumference, and area. I'm expecting you to write all of them down and then have them memorized for your video quiz and then you'll just need to apply a couple of them. So the first one that we're going to look at is a square and in this video when we use an S it means side length, P equals perimeter, and A stands for area and when we're talking about area we're talking about all of this that is shaded. The formula for the perimeter of a square is just 4 times the side length and the area is just S squared. Let's plug in some numbers. So if I'm given that the side length is 6 on the square and of course if it's a square all the side lengths are going to be 6, we'll just multiply it by 4 and then we would have a perimeter of 24 and the formula for area is S squared so if we plug in the side length of 6 and replace it or substitute it for the S we would then have 6 squared which is 36 square centimeters. Now you can write it like this or you can write it like this. They both mean the same things, two different ways to just write that it's squared. And the next one is a rectangle and when we're talking about the rectangle the B stands for the base and the H stands for the height. The formula for the perimeter is 2 times base, so 2 times the bases, and remember that on a rectangle opposite sides are the same length and there are two of them, that's why it's 2 times base plus 2 times height, and again these opposite sides would both have the same length and there's two of them, so we're basically just doing base plus base plus height plus height, which simplifies to 2b plus 2h. Makes sense. Now let's look at area. The formula is just base times height. Now let's plug some numbers in. For the perimeter, again the formula is 2b plus 2h, so I'm just going to plug in and substitute instead of the b, I'm going to put a 6, instead of the h, I'm going to put a 3, and then 2 times 6 is 12, plus 2 times 3, which is 6, so 12 plus 6, 18. So the perimeter would be 18 centimeters. And then for the area, it would just be 3 times 6, which is 18 centimeters squared. Now let's look at the triangle. The formula for the perimeter of the triangle, we would take each side, A plus B plus C, add them up, and that would give us the perimeter. And then the area is 1 half, base times the height. Let's plug some numbers in. So if we're going to find the area of this triangle, we would just do 1 half and then replace the B or substitute the B with the 6, which is our base, and then substitute the height, which is 4, and then just simplify. So it would be 1 half times 6 times 4, which would be 24 divided by 2, which is 12 units squared. When we're not given if it's inches or centimeters, then we would just use a generic amount, would just be units. And whenever it's area, you have to square it. So it's units squared. Now for the circle, first we need to go over some basic vocabulary. C stands for circumference, and then circumference is the outside of the circle. So it's basically the perimeter of the circle, except when it's a circle we call it the circumference. And the diameter is the segment that goes from one end of the circle to the other end and goes through the center. And the radius is a segment that goes from the center to a point on the circle. So this is the radius and it is always half of the diameter. And then the area, of course, would be everything that's shaded. So let's learn our formulas. First let's look at circumference. The formula to find the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r or diameter times pi. So if we're given that the radius is 5 and the diameter is 10, we can do this two different ways. By plugging in the radius, so substituting the r with a 5, we would end up with 2 pi 5, which simplifies to 10 pi, or we can just plug in or substitute, instead of the d, we could put a 10 for the diameter. The final answer would be 10 pi inches. And for the area, the formula is 
pi r squared, so in this case we're given the radius is 5, so substituting and putting a 5 in place of the r, we would have 5 squared and then 5 squared is 25, so our final answer is that the area is 25 pi inches squared. Anyway, have all of these formulas written down and memorized and be able to apply a couple of them. I'll see you guys soon.